Dad's been a victor, and he's in Thailand watching right now. I'm sure this is worth staying up. But you've, he's been a victor before in racing with a long history. You've got a deep history, victory, winning. Now the third generation comes along. What's this mean for you as a dad? You know, it, uh, I couldn't be prouder. I'm, uh, I'm really, really proud of him. He's a, he's a great young man and uh, a great race car driver. And, uh, you know, it, it, you know, when you tell people, you know, hey, my son's a good driver, I think that's probably all the dads say. But, uh, but I think he proved a lot tonight, and uh, I'm really proud of him. Man, I'm sure glad that I was racing to Martinsville. And I'm racing to Martinsville tomorrow, and I was able to make the trip down here. So uh, just so proud of him. It certainly is cool to see, I'm sure. What does this mean now for your late model program? This hasn't been going on for that long. You just put him in a late model last year, ran a handful of starts, and now he's already a victor in what most people would say is the most difficult late model stock field anywhere in the country. Yeah, I still can't believe kids, you know, I mean, he's 14 years old. I, I can't believe that uh, the kids can do it. But, uh, but yeah, no, they, they do a good job. We've uh, uh, we got Chris Lawson and, and Seth Smith on board at David Gillen Racing, two of the best guys that I've ever worked with in my entire career in racing. And I uh, feel really privileged to have them at uh, DGR, and, and they're, what, uh, what, they're what make this possible. That's the winning dad, David Gillen. Let's celebrate. You guys have earned it.